Hey guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite brownie recipes, but this one might just surprise you. I'm going to show you how to make my zucchini brownies recipe. So yes, these brownies do contain zucchini, but you guys have to trust me on this. These chocolate brownies are so rich, they're so fudgy, my entire family loves them, and I promise you, you would never know that they contain vegetables. These actually are healthy brownies. You can make them dairy-free, they're gluten-free as always, but as I mentioned, chocolatey, fudgy, rich brownies. <laughs> the batter is so simple to make. Instead of having to deal with shredding of vegetables, which you guys know I hate, we're just gonna toss everything in the food processor. Zucchinis are mostly made of water, and the brilliant part about adding them to brownies is that they can take the place of most of the oil in the recipe, but they're still super moist and fudgy. We are gonna take the brownies over the top with a two ingredient chocolate frosting because, well, why not? These healthy zucchini brownies are one of my family's favorite treats. It's one of my favorite ways to use up the surplus of zucchini we have grown in our garden right now. I can't wait to show you how to make these zucchini brownies, so let's head to the kitchen. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. It really helps me out, and that way you won't miss out on any of my wholesome, family-friendly, and naturally gluten-free recipes. Let's talk zucchini. You need eight ounces of zucchini, which is about one eight-inch zucchini. Give it a coarse chop, it doesn't have to look pretty because remember, this is going right into the food processor. Add two tablespoons of neutral vegetable oil, a half cup of maple syrup, or you can use honey, two eggs, and a splash of vanilla extract. Pop on the lid and we're going to process this until it's smooth. You'll still see some flecks of green, but there shouldn't be any large chunks. Now, as for the flour, you can use either an all-purpose flour or a gluten-free all-purpose flour, which is what I'm using today, along with almond flour. I'm also adding raw cacao powder or any good quality cocoa powder will work, along with baking powder and fine sea salt. Pop the lid back on and pulse just until everything comes together. You don't want to overmix the batter at this point. Stop and scrape the sides once or twice just to make sure that you don't have any clumps of flour. All right, this batter is almost ready to go, but we have one more thing to add. We're going for some dark chocolate chips because these are double chocolate brownies. Just pulse these in once or twice to incorporate them into the batter. It is time to spread the batter into the pan. I have an eight inch baking pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray and lined with parchment paper. That's just going to make it easier to pull the brownies out later. Spread the batter in an even layer, making sure that you get into all of those corners. Bake the brownies in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out with just a few damp crumbs. Let the brownies cool in the pan for 10 minutes and then transfer them to a rack to cool completely. Now it's time to make the frosting and it couldn't be easier. I have a half cup of dark chocolate chips and two tablespoons of milk. You can use regular milk or a dairy-free nut milk. Microwave this in 30 second intervals, stirring between each until the chocolate is melted and smooth. And that is it. We are going to scrape the frosting over the top of the brownies and just spread it in an even layer. You'll want to let the brownies sit to let the frosting set, but listen, if you need to sneak a bite before the frosting has hardened, I get it. These chocolate zucchini brownies are super fudgy with pockets of chocolate chips in the center and then that silky dark chocolate frosting. I promise you, you will never know that these brownies contain zucchini. By the way, your kids won't know they're healthy either. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I can't wait to hear what you think about these healthy zucchini brownies. Let me know in the comments below. So I've included a link below to the full recipe and I've also included a link to my website where you can find a ton of other easy to make wholesome gluten-free desserts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you next time.